Clouds of contention gather over the South China Sea. Tanmen is known for his role in China's maritime rights. It's also known for keeping a key piece of historical evidence, the ancient nautical guide known as the Genglu Bu. Ninety-year-old Lu Yefa owns a version. The family treasure was handed down from his father's grandfather. A captain should have the mastery of sea routes. He must understand the Genglu Bu. He needs years of navigation experience because sailing in the South China Sea can be very dangerous. Lu Yefa shows us how to use the nautical map with a compass and the Genglu Bu. He says he has sailed to almost all reefs in the Nansha Islands, also called the Spratlys, from different directions. Chinese fishermen in ancient times gave names to over a hundred islands and reefs, many of which are still used today. From the very beginning, our ancestors went to the South China Sea every year. They were the first fishermen who actually found the islands and fished around the waters. Tanmen's big ships have all been to the Nanshas. Back in the time I sailed to the Nanshas, I didn't see any foreign vessels in the water, nor did I see any foreigners on the islands. We were the only fishermen in that water. With a little arable land, Fishing is the only way for Tanmen people to make a living. A big boat and sailing further out is the natural choice to catch big fish and earn big money. But territorial disputes are making their lives even harder. Long before GPS, the Chinese fishermen used Genglu Bu for navigation and survival. The copy of Lu Yefas is just one of hundreds of versions scattered in different villages in Hainan province. As disputes over the South China Sea are on the rise, the fishermen feel preserving the book is their way of fighting the battle over history and identity. Lu Yefa's son, Lu Jiabing, and his grandson, Lu Chuanming, sail to the Nansha Islands every year. The situation has become more difficult in the South China Sea due to overlapping claims. Sailing on turbulent waters is always unpredictable, so fishermen pray for a safe return with a big catch before setting out. There are many temples in Tanmen. It's a long-held tradition to worship the sea god and goddess for blessings and protection. The Lu family is ready for a new sailing to what they consider their ancestral fishing grounds. They are keenly aware that many surrounding countries have intensified their actual control over the islands and reefs. But they say they will never stop casting their nets. In recent years, the government has stepped up patrols in the South China Sea. We see more warships and law enforcement vessels to protect our rights. The activities are to respect the dignity of our ancestors and protect our fishing rights. We should never forget the South China Sea is China's territory. Lu Jiabing carries a copy of the Genglu Bu on their journey to the South China Sea. He understands that the true value is much more than a guidebook. As the old captains are disappearing, this unique navigation culture is also dying. Lu Jiabing now is teaching his son to become a master of the Genglu Bu. He wants him continue sailing in even the roughest waters ahead. Han Bin, CGTN from Tanmen in Hainan province.